Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. It is hot here. All across the western United States, if you've been paying attention to the news, uh, they're, they're uh, telling people that we are in extreme drought conditions uh, and ex experiencing some extreme temperatures for this time of year. Uh, this week, it's, it hit already into the high 90s. This, next week, it's supposed to hit into the hundreds, and that is not normal for this area. Normally, our temperatures this time of year are usually in the 80s, right around there, nice uh, spring, uh, late spring, early summer days. Uh, we jumped right into the hot temperatures of summer uh, that we don't normally get until maybe August, end of July, August, somewhere around there. So I thought now might be a good time for me to do my uh, video on how to stay cool around your off-grid cabins because this is really important uh, because, you know, heat is a killer. Heat stroke will kill you. It also, uh, you know, just makes you uncomfortable and you're not going to enjoy life if you're hot all the time. And people always ask me, well, how do you stay cool when you're off-grid? So let me explain the systems and how I set up my cabin to stay cool. Okay, so this is my off-grid cabin, and it is 14 by 14 with a, uh, a, a second uh, loft roof up above it there. And you can see one of the features that I have on my cabin. I have a porch, and this is the south side of the house right here. That porch is uh, there to keep the sun from penetrating in to those windows, okay? And then there's blinds up above that window up on top there. There's blinds over that window there. I usually close them down all the way. And... <clears throat> That the the porch is designed so that the sun, as it gets high in the summertime, uh, will not penetrate underneath that porch. So it keeps this whole side of the house very cool on the sun on the sunny side of the house. And as I've shown many times here, this is my 400 watt system that I use for power at my house. I'm going to show you how I can run just a small uh, swamp cooler off of this this 400 watt system here. Now. My cabin, when I built it, we were in drought conditions and extreme heat conditions when I built it here. So I was very concerned about the temperature. So what I did is I super insulated the cabin. This cabin has uh, R19 insulation in the walls, the floor, and the roof all the way around. So it is basically built like an igloo cooler. And you all know those small uh, coolers that you put your beer and pop in. Well, basically my cabin is built just like an igloo cooler to stay much cooler in the summer. So, and you also notice that I've got a big tree in the backyard. I've got trees on this uh, west side over here. And these trees are very important because as the sun goes across the the sky uh, in the late afternoon and evening is when it gets really hot here. And that's when these trees uh, kick in and, and act as my natural air conditioning. They will shade this whole front area of the cabin here. This will all be shaded in. Now, you'll notice that I don't have grass in my front area. And normally I would have these two beds planted, but this year here I didn't plant these because of the drought. I didn't want to have to take care of a bunch of plants that were going to die on me. Instead, I just planted my tubs. And these tubs belong to my mom. And uh, she was a, a real green thumb at gardening, a lot better than I am. But what I do is I've got, I've got some tomatoes and then I've got some flowers in there mixed together. So I've got a tomato plant in there in a cage and then some flowers around the bottom, tomato plant. And so that, that's what you can see what I'm planting. Then I've got some uh, irises and some, uh, some other plants over there. There's another tomato plant. That's my uh, uh, Roma plants. That's my Roma tomatoes over there. I've got some other plants in there that I just put in there this year. I didn't plant a big garden this year because of the drought conditions. I was afraid I would lose a bunch of plants. Uh, and so I went with just smaller tubs that seem to do well. The tubs seem to do well in the hot weather because I can keep them watered uh, and water them deep and soak them deep in the tubs, which is a lot harder to do on these bigger beds. So, as I said, my cabin is built like a, an igloo cooler. To, it's super insulated. But then you can other see the feature. See the other feature up there? See that roof turbine? It's spinning like crazy up there. That is a passive roof turbine. And you can get them anywhere at any uh, housing construction place has them. You put them up at the very peak of your, your uh, off-grid houses. And what that does is the cool air will come in at the bottom, usually through my door. Uh, my back door is, is usually open, uh, even if it's open a crack, or I have a window that might be open a crack. That pulls in the cool air from the bottom, pushes the warm air out through the top, and the warm air is expelled through that air vent, and it pulls it out. The turbine actually pulls the warm air up and pulls the cool, cool air in from the bottom. So this actually is a natural circulation uh, for air conditioning there. It's all extremely well insulated, gets shade, 
uh, for at least part of the day. And my porch adds shade, as you can see, the porch adds a lot of shade to this side over here. So that's the natural cooling. Then I'll show you the small air conditioner that I use inside my place. Okay, so this is one of my air conditioner units here, and I, I have used this one a few times when it got extremely hot here one year. It was hitting into the 115 degrees. I use this window unit here, and of course you all know how these work. This is a refrigerant unit, and it goes, it just slides into the window, and then it runs off 110 volt. But in order to run that, you have to have a lot larger system, or you have to run a generator. Generally what I would do is I would run it off my uh, champion generator, and I would put that in the window, and then I would run it for maybe just an hour or so at a time. It really cools the place down fast, but you have to run it for about an hour at a time. I would run it for a couple of hours during the day when it was extremely hot off the generator. But I don't like having to use the generator. I don't want to have to use gas in order to, to uh, air condition my place because that's not really off grid if you have to use gas, right? Okay. So I'm trying to reduce gas as much as possible around my place. And so I wanted to get away from this window unit. I still have it. I still have it as backup in case it gets up into that 115 degree temperature again and I really need it. I have it in storage right here and I can always stick it on my window start that up using my generator runner however it's not the way I want to be air conditioning my house so I'll now I'll take in I'll show you uh, the air conditioning systems that I use all the time that I'm using right now that it's gotten warm again okay so this is another air conditioner unit this is made by Hess Air and it is a uh, basically it is a an interior model swamp cooler okay and it has a, a, a tank a large tank that will hold about a gallon of water or more uh, and then it has a large fan in the front, and it has a pump that pumps the, the water through the filter. You've all seen these units. Generally, you have swamp coolers that either sit in a window or sit up on top of a roof. The only difference is this model is made so that it can be brought right inside with you. And then it has three different, uh, three different uh, power settings. Now, I've got this upstairs in my loft because I'm not using it right now. I don't need, really need this large unit. However, this unit here, made by Hess Air, this will run off of my 400 watt system, okay? And so I've just got it stored up in my loft for when I need it, if it gets if it gets uh, really hot. And I've got it so that I can use it up here in my loft. Now I haven't showed people in my loft in a while because I've been doing some remodeling. Uh, recently I decided to move downstairs. I was, this is my bedroom, it's a nice loft bedroom. And uh, I uh, spent probably, oh, nine ten years uh sleeping up here this was my bedroom and uh, i had my girlfriend living here with me and i had my son living here with me and he was sleep down on the couch and we would sleep up here in the loft but it got kind of hard for me to get up and down the ladder with my uh bad leg and my bad back and so recently uh last couple of years i moved downstairs onto a day bed downstairs and so I've just been doing some remodeling up here, getting this place fixed back up. And then I'm just basically using it for some storage and for a uh, guest bedroom up here. So if anybody's wondering why, how, if I use my loft or what ended up, how I ended up doing it, I've got an office space right now. It's kind of full of junk. I'm still doing a lot of cleanup in here. Uh, but I'm, I'm remodeling this. This was my desk area that I used all the time. And so I'm going to remodel this. And then basically I'm going to use this as either a guest bedroom or if I find somebody that wants to come and live with me, they can have have the upstairs and I'll have the downstairs and so you know that's that's another option that I'm thinking about so anyway this is the the uh, Hesson air conditioner and that's what I use uh, if it gets really hot in here instead of the window unit because I can run this off of my 400 watt uh, solar system without having to use the generator so that is a swamp cooler and then you can see, as I talked about, my windows have blinds over them. I have a crack in here. And then this is that air turbine vent. And you can see it spinning up there. This is the heat. The, the warm air rises. It's cooler downstairs. And this is uh, this second floor helps to keep the cold air down in there. The warm air comes up through this opening and then is pushed out through the air turbine there. And then I've got both these windows cracked, so a, a small amount of air, especially on this north side here. This is cooler. The, the cool air comes in through and pushes the warm air out through the turbine. And you can hear it running. It's spinning uh, really fast. And that is pulling the warm air out of here. And it's actually, this is upstairs in a loft where you'd expect it to be quite warm. And even right now, even though it's probably about 85 degrees outside, it's actually fairly cool up here in the loft right now. Just with the cool air, you can actually feel the cool air coming in from the floor and coming up and circulating through and out and out through the vents. So now we'll go down and I'll show you the little air conditioner that I use all the time uh, uh, to keep me cool. 
Okay, folks, so I've shown you how I designed and built my cabin uh, so that it would be uh, easy to cool, to keep it cool uh, using just a lot of passive features. It's super insulated, all the walls, roof, ceiling, R19 insulation, so it's like a, an igloo cooler. It's small, it doesn't have a lot of windows to let in a lot of heat. It also has that nice porch on the front on the south side to block the sun to keep it from penetrating because that's where a lot of your heat comes in is through the windows from the sun penetrating through the windows. So I have my front windows all covered uh, and with the front porch provides a nice cool uh, spot, spot underneath the front of that porch there. Also my back door is on my north side so I can get cross ventilation to come into the cabin pushing the warm air out through that roof turbine that's on top of my roof. Then I have my uh, my regular window air conditioner unit that I can run in an emergency if it gets really hot here. I can run that for a few hours off the generator. Don't like to run that, like I said. Or I've got that Hesson cooler, Hess air cooler uh, uh, up in the loft that I showed you there. That is a swamp cooler. It will run off my 400 watt system, fill it up full of water, and that thing will cool up to 500 square feet. So it will actually cool the entire cabin down if I want to run that off of my 400 watt system. But this unit that I use most of the time, and that I've used now for uh, three years, going on three years, that I've talked about before in other videos, is one that I really want to recommend to people because you can use it in a very small space as a personal air conditioner. And for a lot of people, that's really all you need. You don't don't necessarily need to cool down the entire house, and that takes a lot of power uh, and is going to run up your power bills, or you're going to have to have a much larger off-grid system. You can use this small unit, which is made by Arctic Air, and I've had mine now, this is my third year using it, uh, third season, and I swear by these. Now, I know a lot of people look at them and think, oh, they're too small, they're not really going to do much. They are a personal air conditioner. They're not designed to cool down your entire house. They're designed to cool you down. So let me explain how these work. So you can see I turned the light on there, and it has a button here. You can change the light color. Uh, we'll put it on that color just so you can see it here. You can see that it also shows the water level. This is the water tank over here where you filled up, and basically this is a micro evaporative cooler or micro swamp cooler. It works the same way as the one that I have up in the loft. It's just a much smaller unit for personal cooling. Now you can see the water level there. You fill the water tank up here. You can usually fill it, I fill it from just my tap water because my tap water is really cold. And one, a little bit more than one cup will fill up this tank on this and on high that will usually last about four hours on medium it'll last about six hours on low probably about eight hours and you can also get uh, your water cooler by if you want to put it in a bottle and then or in a pitcher and cool it in your refrigerator or if you want to get it almost icy chunky cold and then pour that in there or you can put ice chips in there or you can put ice cubes in the tank okay so that will cool it off even a lot faster than just regular tap water I just use regular tap water on mine and it cools down just fine now how these work is they have a uh, they have an absorbent absorptive filter inside inside the front here uh, inside the unit is a filter and that sits down into the water that comes from the tank and it feeds into a bottom uh, area down there a space and then that saturates that filter and then it pulls in the warm air through the backside as you can see here I'll turn this around it has a, a, a grill on the backside this is pulling in th through the fan it's pulling the warm air in and then it goes to blows it through that cool air through the filter and pushes it out the front it has three speed settings for either a high medium or low and I have found that I've checked this actually and it will produce air that is about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than the ambient temperature that's inside the cabin. And if you put it right next to you, how I use this is I set this right next to me where I'm working here on my computer. This is my couch, by the way. So I'm usually sitting here on my computer and working all the time, and I've just got this thing blowing right on me. And usually I don't even put it on three on the highest level because that gets too cold right on me. Okay, I usually have it on two or on the lowest level, and at night, a lot of times, because I also sleep here, this is my day bed, uh, at night I usually just put it on one, and because I open my doors up and let the cool air from the outside in, having this on one is usually enough to just keep me nice and cool all night long, I sleep like a baby, baby. it also doesn't make a lot of noise, 
And what I like about this is you can run this off of a very small power system. It's, it runs off a USB plug on your computer, or it can run off 110 volt. It uses less than one amp. I run this thing all the time off of my 100 amp uh, solar recharging station, which I've done videos about recently and showed you how to set up a small 100 watt uh, recharging station. Go watch that if you haven't watched those videos, because this is one of the appliances that I recommend that you can use uh, off of that system to help keep you cool and you can use it in your campers you can use it in a tent you could even use it in your vehicle if you want to and you can use it in your small off-grid cabins like this without very with a very small power system a lot of people are getting those uh, portable uh, power generators now that they're selling them all over the place on Amazon and that they charge them up at home then take them camping with them you could use one of those to run one of these units here now these uh, this one is made by Arctic Air I know there's some other brands out there but Arctic Air has been around for a long time making them this this one is very good quality I've used it for three years uh, no problem and they're uh, they sell for around thirty to forty dollars and I would get an extra filter if you can now I've been using the same filter for three years so let me tell you how to take care of it uh, what, the first time you use it, the first season is not a problem. You don't need to do anything. Just run it. The next season when you get it out, just add maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, just a small amount of Clorox bleach or some bleach, uh, ammonia bleach in here, and let that run through the system just the first time you run it. That will kill any uh, bacteria or mold or uh, viruses or anything that might have got picked up on the filter while it was in storage. So run that through the first time to kill it out. And what I do is it has a removable filter in the front here. You can take this front panel off here, uh, and you can remove the filter. I won't take the filter out, but you can take this filter out. What I do is I lift it out, and then I saturate that uh, under my faucet. I run it under the faucet really good to clean it, and also it saturates it real good before I the first time I run it. That way it uh, will cool down a lot faster, okay? And then it does have an adjustable grill here on the front, just so you can kind of uh, set it so that it's either high or it's low. And it has the three settings, and it has different light functions, uh, different light settings. I usually have mine on blue, uh, just nice, cool color. But what I like about it is at night with the light on, I can look and see the level on the tank really easy. And so I can tell if I need to just add another cup of water to it and you know to top up the tank and I usually just have a cup of water standing by and uh, fill up the tank to make sure that it stays full and it works excellent and it's uh, very low power, it's less than one amp and will keep you personally cool and that's all I really care about I have this set on me and it's blowing right on me while I'm sitting here working I don't care if the rest of the cabin is a little bit warm as long as I'm nice and cool alright folks I hope this video has helped you to understand how uh, I, as an off-gridder, and a lot of off-gridders use passive air conditioning and passive cooling at our places in order to re so we can use a smaller uh, off-grid systems, and how you can use either a window unit, you can use a uh, larger swamp cooler like the Hesair, or you can use these small Arctic air coolers. And you know, folks, heat is a killer. You need to really be concerned about it, especially older people, uh, elderly people. A unit like this may be something that you may want to consider, even if you have a house system if the power goes out and your grid goes down you're not going to have an air conditioner and you know it only takes a, a few hours for your your places to get really hot and every year we, in heat waves we always lose especially a lot of older people uh, because of the heat waves because they don't have air conditioning well a little hundred watt system or even one of those portable backup power systems with a small arctic air, air conditioner like this would be enough to survive and keep them cool in wherever they're sitting in, in their beds or uh, next to their chairs or whatever so they're not going to get overheated in a, in a heat wave. So something to really consider uh, for your old, older relatives or for yourself. All right, folks, I hope you this video was informational and uh, that you was able to get something out of it. I will put the link to this uh, and the SR video, uh, air conditioners in the information in my channel if you want to go look for those on Amazon. All right, folks, have a great day. Stay in the shade. Stay cool. And uh, remember to stay hydrated, drink lots of water. Bye-bye.